Hi ladies, happy Tuesday. I hope that you are all ready for the Christmas holidays and festivities coming up. I'm so glad that we have pretty much all week and I took this week off so um, I thought I was making it easier on myself and I felt um, very ahead of the game uh, going into the holidays and now that they're here I'm just like scrambling again once again it just never fails um, and of course you know my husband is out shopping for the one person that he was responsible for uh, every year which is me so he's in panic mode because apparently he can't find anything so like I swear men I'm like I've had 20 people to think of and shop for you have one so I don't want to hear any complaints Anyways, I wanted to do a couple of tutorials this week. So um, the first one I wanted to do was um, an eyeshadow tutorial on kind of featuring one of my new favorite um, eyeshadows that came out. Um, it came out not too long ago, um, but I just recently got it and I absolutely die over it. It's really pretty, but it's this one. It's called Hot Chocolate. Um, it's just, it's one of the more subtle shimmers, um, but it's kind of bronzy. Uh, it's gorgeous on. I love it. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of fun uh, to do for the winter um, and the holidays just to kind of give you some ideas. Um, it'll be a little bit of a smoky eye look. So I always do an easy smoky eye. To me, smoky eyes are the easiest thing to do because they're not precise. They're just kind of like throw on and go. Um, so I really enjoy those and I feel like they're just really pretty. Um, on. So that's what we're going to do today. I also, um, I went ahead and just did my, um, my contour, my bronzer and my main highlight and some of my brightening shade, but I did not do my under eye because, um, I like to do my eyeshadow first and then do my under eye. That way my under eye looks, um, nice and fresh. So, um, I'll do my under eye with you as well. And then I'm also going to show you, um, another lip and cheek that I got. This is Scarlet. It's a really, really pretty red. So, um, we'll use Scarlet today as well. It'll be fun. So I am just going to jump right in. Um, so to start off this look, I'm going to go in with the color Cafe. Um, and I'm just going to do this all over my lid and then I'm just going to blend it up into my crease. And this will kind of be our base shade. Also, the only thing I had on my eyes before I went in um, with my eyeshadow is a bit of my brightening highlight and then just some um, vanilla dust setting powder to set it. Um, but that's how I always prime my eyes before I go in and do shadow. So just whatever brightening shade you already have on hand, um, that's what I would start with. <clears throat> and then once you do cafe, blend it up. My more. This is one of my absolute favorite colors. I feel like this is just my go-to with every single look. It's just a really pretty, easy color. <clears throat> okay, so once you do cafe all over your lid, blend it up into your crease. Uh, then I go in with the color Cocoa, and that's this really rich, um, kind of deeper brown. And I'm going to go in with the smudge brush, uh, this end of the smudge brush. And I'm just going to use this on my lid, and I'm just going to kind of tap it into my lid. Just to give it that really dark base on my lid. And then we're gonna blend everything. Um, I think I heard that it's gonna be like over 70 degrees here on Christmas. <clears throat> I swear. I like seasons to have their place. So I'm not all that excited about um, it being so warm here on Christmas. Like, I have all these cute sweaters that I'm not going to be able to wear. But, like, it's been absolutely freezing cold before this, so no wonder everybody is getting sick. Um, 
So I digress. Just gonna blend this up with my eyeshadow brush, the fluffy end. Okay. Now for hot chocolate. Um, with any shimmer shades, I always just use my finger. Um, if you go in with a shimmer shade with a brush, you're gonna lose 80% of the shimmer. Um, so it really loses its effect. So if you really wanna get that nice um, shimmer effect, always use your finger. So I'm just going on the inner side of my lid and I'm just pressing that in and then we will blend out here in a second. I love this color, it's so pretty. Okay, and then once you do hot chocolate, I'm going to go in with Salem. Salem is this really dark charcoal gray. It's not quite black, but it's really dark gray. Um, and I love this color just to, I use this color all the time to line my eyes um, instead of using an eyeliner. Um, and I'm gonna use, this is the multitasker brush. It has the really short end. You can use this end to, or really fine ends. You can use this end to line. I'm gonna go in with this side, um, just cause I kinda want like a fatter smudge. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and get like a really nice smoke on this. And I will blend all of this out. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with a little more hot chocolate just on the inside. <clears throat> and smudge out Salem a little bit. This is the little short stubby end of the eyeshadow brush. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the drift color. Um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go in with cupcake. I'm gonna go in just beneath my brow bone. Okay, and then take the fluffy end of your eyeshadow brush And I'm not gonna do my <clears throat> lower lash line quite yet because I still need to do my under eye. Um, so if you put your eyeshadow under your eye and then go in with your concealer, you're, it's gonna kind of get a little messy. So um, I like to do my under eye first and then go in and do my lower lash line um, color. Um, and I'm gonna use hot chocolate for that too. So that is the eyeshadow. Um, now let's go ahead and do our under eye. <clears throat> I wanted to show you a trick. Um, I was talking to one of my coworkers the other day about dark circles. Um, you don't wanna go in with more product than you need to because that's when you're gonna start having the creasing issues under your eye. So if you have those days um, where your dark circles are more prominent, um, it's best to go in with a color corrector. <clears throat> The other thing I was talking about the other day is when you see these tins and you get them in person, you're like, holy cow, that is not my color. That's going to look crazy on me. 
um, they tend to look very dark and they tend to look more yellow in a 10. So they can be very intimidating. But I always tell people, do not be intimidated by what these colors look like in the 10 because that is not how they look on your skin. Um, this is case in point. So this is one of the highlight shades sunlit. Some people, this is their main shade. And when you look at it in the 10, you are like, that is straight up sunshine yellow and it will not look good on my skin. This makes a great color corrector for a lot of people um, because that yellow cancels out um, those dark under eye circles. So it's, this is a good one in mango, which is more of an orange color. Um, that is also a really good color corrector. So when you're using your color corrector, you're not gonna go in with a ton of this all under your eye. Just go in where you have that kind of dark shadow and for me, it's kind of in that hollow point of my um, eye. That's where I typically get those dark circles. So I just go in with the tiniest bit <clears throat> with my finger and just kind of stipple it into my skin. So it just kind of melts with my skin. So it's not a ton of product, but it just helps to kind of brighten that area. <clears throat> And Sunlit is actually really, really pretty. I've used it a few times <clears throat> as just kind of like in my brightening shade areas and it's really pretty on. So I always say, don't be afraid to play with this makeup. It looks intimidating, but once you just kind of get in and play with it and figure out what works best for you, it is a dream. Okay, so that is a little bit of the Sunlit just under my eye to kind of brighten it a little bit. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go in with my brightening shade. I think I'm gonna use Versailles. I've really liked this one. Um, it's a very neutral brightening shade, kind of helps with my, I have very pink undertones. Um, so this is a really good one for me. So I'm just gonna go in, in the very inner corner with a little bit of Versailles or whatever your brightening shade is. So I'm not dragging it all the way under my eye. I'm just going in the corner and then the outer part of my eye to kind of give that lifting effect. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go in with, um, this is my 3D brush, the IIID brush. This is a really good brush and most of the time this is in the bundle that I typically do for people that start out. Um, you're either going to get this or the blush and bronzer brush, which are both really good. But I use the fluffy end of my 3D brush. This already has a little bit of my main highlight on it, um, just from blending out my face. And so I'm just going to kind of stifle this in and that'll kind of like help to color correct the rest of my eye. <clears throat> but the biggest thing you want to remember is less is more under your eyes. You don't need a ton of product. And that will really help you cut down on any creasing um, or settling that you get <clears throat> under your eyes. But see, you don't need a ton of product. That's what I love about this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go in <clears throat> and set my under eye with a little bit of the vanilla dust, which I absolutely love. <clears throat> I'm a huge proponent of vanilla dust setting powder because it is a really light um, setting powder. So for a lot of people that don't like setting powders, this is gonna be your jam because it keeps your makeup in place, but it doesn't give you that dry, cakey feeling that a lot of powders can. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go ahead. I didn't set my face earlier. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna go over my cheek area because I still need to do my blush. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go ahead 
and go under my eyes with the short stubby end of my eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of hot chocolate and I'm just gonna drag that color under my eyes. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in <clears throat> with my mascara and then we'll do lip and cheeks and we will be on our merry way. I need to go finish up some little straggly shopping and then I think we are going to try to take the kids to the um, light show and festival at the Trash Panda Baseball Stadium. We went last year and had so much fun. You do like the drive through um, light show and then afterwards they have in the actual stadium, they have like a whole setup with all of these um, like food and you know, different types of vendors and stuff. They have characters. Um, last year we went when it was, I believe Elsa, Anna and Olaf and my kids died. I'm really hoping that Grinch is there tonight because my kids both are obsessed with Grinch and I really want to see their reaction to seeing Grinch in person because Jackson always talks about Grinch and it's like, mommy, I don't want Grinch to come get my presents. So if he sees him in real life, I'm really curious what that looks like. So, but we're gonna have fun tonight. Um, and I think that'll be kind of our last hoorah of Christmas festivities. Trying not to put too much pressure on myself. I think as moms, you like try so hard to create these memories and moments for your kids. And sometimes it just gets very overwhelming. So I try to remind myself that they don't need something every day. Otherwise, I'm gonna check myself into a loony bin. I feel like there's a lot of really fun things to do with the kids at Christmas and it's also magical for them so they really enjoy it and it's fun watching them. This has been the most fun year for my kids, um, Jackson especially. Um, I feel like this is the first year, he kind of understood what Santa was last year, but this is the first year that um, he really truly understands and wrote Santa a letter and um, is just so excited for Christmas to come. So I'm very excited for Christmas this year. Okay, eyes are done. Um, hold on, I think I got like a little, it's hard to see in the cell phone camera sometimes. Okay, so there we go. Pretty hot chocolate, I love it. A big fan. Um, so we're gonna try out Scarlet. Um, and this is another one of those colors that I feel like looks incredibly intimidating in the tin. Um, but with any of these colors, just start off very light um, and kind of build up as you want and you can always mix. Um, so this might be really pretty. Um, you know, as a lip, and then if you want to use it on your cheek, you can always mix it with something to kind of um, mute it down. But my experience with these is you really don't need a whole lot. Like I barely have any on my. <clears throat> That's a really pretty rosy red, kind of pinkish color. To see how they are so buildable. Like you really don't need to be intimidated by any of these. I 
I love that color. That is really pretty. <clears throat> yeah, that's a really pretty color. I'm obsessed. Love that. Gorgeous color. Okay. We're going to see how it looks on the lips. I'm not a huge red lip person. Um, I tend to go very neutral on my lips. So this is going to be a departure for me. So I'm most likely am going to um, end up mixing this with something. But we'll <clears throat> go in and just see what it looks like. really pretty. It's a pretty color. Um, very, very red. That's really pretty. Um, for me, I'm going to mute it down a little bit because <clears throat> it's a little much for me right now. Um, I'm going to go in with the color nude and then I'll probably go in with a little brightening highlight too um, to lighten it up. That's pretty. <clears throat> Another tip that you can do um, to change the color. I really like this. This is a pretty coral now. Um, that's pretty. <clears throat> Don't be afraid not to, like you can use your eyeshadows too to mix with your lip color. So like I could go in with the color pomegranate, which is that kind of deeper red color. And it just totally changes. The color. So you can create some really fun colors with this. I'm a big mixer of colors with my lips and cheeks and everything. So, um, that's that. Um, that's our finished look. Good stuff. I hope that you all have a really great Christmas. I'll probably try to do one more tutorial. Somebody had mentioned um, doing, uh, going into a kind of a dive on the brushes. So I will be happy to go over all of my brushes because these are the bomb. I mean, they're the br best brushes that I've ever had. They're super soft. I did my mom's makeup for um, Thanksgiving uh, just to try it out on her. And that was the one thing that she said. She's like, the it's she's like, it feels so good on my face because they're so soft. And so I'm gonna do probably go into the brushes. I might add a little something to that. And then I also got um the their brush cleaner, um, which I have not tried yet. Um, or I had not tried yet. I tried it last night and I love it. I'm like shook by it how well it works. Um, so I'll maybe show you my brushes, kind of go into the brush cleaner, um, and maybe add like a little extra something on that tutorial, but I'll try to do one more for y'all before the Christmas holidays. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you took a little something from it and I hope that you all are having a good Christmas week. Bye ladies.